Hi everyone. Here we are in the next sequence of our tutorials on how to build a really simple game using Game Fruit. And at this point now, we're going to go ahead and add some sound. In this tutorial though, we're going to also start to see that you're going to experience what's known as the block programming. And if you're new to this stuff, all I would say is if you could pause it, you could reverse it, go back, take a look at it again. But you could also make use of some of the other resources that are available here in uh, the game fruit environment. Now what we're going to do is add a sound. A sound is an asset and if you look up here at your navigation you can see you have access to your script editor, your assets, and then of course to play your game. When you come in now you'll, you could select uh, your object. I'm going to click on my, uh, my character layer here and I'm going to click on the, the actual rifle and if I right click on it you'll notice that you have access to a bunch of different menus and you could even edit the animation if it does anything. You could uh, remove a script, copy a script, you could even delete it and so on. Sometimes when you come in here and you click on edit instance properties, you could start to see that there's a whole bunch of settings that you can modify without doing any coding. And these are really neat, easy, quick ways to actually make your game even better. And I'll show you those in, an, in a follow on video. So I'm going to click close. I'm going to come back in though and I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to say edit script. And what, one of the first things it asks though is do you want to copy the asset? So what it'll do is it'll make a copy of this particular object and its script and then move it into your own uh, pack area in Game Fruit. So I'll say save copy and then it'll say done. Would you like to apply these changes to all instances of the game object in the game? and you say just this one or change the change all. It might be a good idea for this time just to say just this one in case you want to use it again but in a different way. So we'll just say just this one. Now once that happens here you can see that the screen changes and you could scroll and what you have access to are the blocks and if you've never seen this before yeah it looks really crazy it looks confusing doesn't it? A lot of neat colors though. First and foremost um, we're going to scroll up a little bit and we'll talk about these blocks later but all these colors are associated with options here in this menu of different blocks and if you click on these uh, buttons you'll see that it kicks out a sub menu with uh, the blocks that you could drag out here so what we're going to do is we're going to have a uh, an event and when the player presses. Now we know that the rifle fires when we hit the space bar so if you click that little drop down we'll select space bar and then we're gonna have to go ahead and add sound. So if you click on the sound you have play music or play sound effect. Bring that block in you'll hear it snap and that means it's all set. So now once this block is here with all these other blocks when the object is called or comes into action, all these blocks are running. So I'll select the level editor. But before I do that, you'll want to come over here and go to script properties. This is really, really important. And then you'll notice that we have a variety of properties. And one of them is sound. We want to make that public. So check that box. And click done. Now go back to my level editor. It's going to say, Do you want to make the saves? And we say save. And you're back into the level editor here. Go into your assets, and you'll see that I've already added some assets in here. And I could see packs that I, I've used before, and I've, I haven't given them any names. And I have marketplace uh, packs. So what I'm going to do right now, though, is I'm going to add. A new asset to the to the environment here. To get started, you can go ahead and add a new pack, and I'm going to call this my sound pack, and I'm going to click create. Down here, it'll appear in the list, and I can check on that. So now it's available in the game. So these colored folders here are all packs that are in the game and that means that I could, they're available for me to use. 
I click on add new asset, sound audio, add my file, and I'm going to go to my desktop here in sounds, add my gun sound that I downloaded. It's an MP3 file. You could also use a dot wave or WAV. File has been uploaded. I click done and there it appears inside of my folder. I can now click that to cancel it. And for me now to have access to the gunshot, I right click on my shotgun and I could actually edit the instance properties. Okay, as I was saying, you can go in, right click on the shotgun, edit the instance properties, and notice that there's a now there is now a sound option and it's saying nothing is selected. You can select my gun sound, click close. Let's test it out. Click play. Now the game is being loaded. I pick up my rifle. And there we have sound now being associated with that particular object.